A very warm welcome back. It is snooker podcast time. We're looking at uh, group two of the champion of champions and uh, a man who's already landed a terrific two to one shout on Neil Robertson to beat Jimmy White four nil. It's Mr. Ian McCulloch. And we are standing by to look at uh, an intriguing uh, day two and group two. We've got Judd Trump. You've got Stuart Bingham, Sean Murphy and David Gilbert. First of all, well done. We uh, we bow down to uh, the superior <laughs> snooker knowledge <laughs> of Mr. I wish it was Ian as simple McCulloch. as that now. It's been, you know, we were due one. We had an horrendous run in the Championship League, so we, we were due one, I suppose. So uh, just stops the wolves knocking at the door for a short while, doesn't it? This is a good this is a good group, isn't it? Judd Trump is a favourite for it and a worthy favourite. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Three, three, three former world champions, obviously Trump uh, two years ago, um, Stuart Bingham 2016, I think it was, and Sean Murphy uh, 2005, you know, and obviously you've got Dave Gilbert who's, who's in the, you know, he, he, he's like the runt of the litter, Dave Gilbert, isn't he? He hasn't won anything, but he's top 16. And he's only in this courtesy of uh, there not being enough winners of tournaments. There's been multiple winners of events. And because of that, there hasn't been enough individual winners. And that's why Gilbert's got in this. What do you make of it? I'm presuming that the smart money's got to be on Judd Trump to win this group. I'm presuming that. But it could be an interesting game, that, with Stuart Bingham. Yeah, it's a tough one. I'm a big, big fan of Stuart Bingham, um, both on the table and off the table. You know, it was no surprise to me. I think it was 2010 when Stuart won Australia. And he, he, he should have done it years ago, Stuart. Um, you know, he, he, he had the scoring ability. You know, he was a phenomenal scorer in the balls. He always was. And he wasn't as afraid of winning. He just he just had zero match game. And once he learned the proper hard match game, that's that's why he became the winner that he's become. Um, obviously, he's in this because he's the current Masters champion. He's been a world champion. Uh, you know, he's won multiple tournaments. And, and, and I, I am a big fan of him. Um, but he's up against the consummate, you know, t- Top end player at the moment, Judd Trump is the man of the moment, isn't he? Lost to Kyron Wilson in the final of the Championship League last week. Beat Neil Robertson nine eight in the final. Before that, he's absolutely flying. He's head and shoulders away at number one in the world. And it's not that I don't fancy Stuart Bingham to win this game. It's seventeen eight on the head to head, so that's not pretty reading for Bingham either. Nine to four at Stuart, four to eleven Trump. You're not going to get rich back in four to eleven shots. And you know, I've, I've had a look at this and and. and there isn't really a way into this game, to be honest. You know, back in four to eleven shots is that you know is, is a sure fire way to the poor house, as you know. And as I'm not a fan of tipping up really short odds on stuff, I did tip up Robertson to win the first group at eight to eleven, uh, which obviously is still running as we're doing this podcast. Um, but I just think Stewart's been struggling a bit of late. He hasn't lost to. He hasn't been. I mean, we've only had two, three, four tournaments so far this season, and he hasn't lost to anybody disastrously bad. I just think since winning the Masters, he hasn't really set the world on fire. And where he's up against a player in Trump who is absolutely on fire. And the only thing that I look at, and it's and this is more price appealing rather than the actual bet, I just thought 100 to 30 on Trump to win 4 0. I just thought was for a guy, anybody who's flying like Trump is, and we all know how good he is, we know we, we know he can blow people away. Um, I just thought, you know, if he gets on top early and he gets the wind in his sails, Trump is a very hard man to stop. And I just thought it's worth a couple of quid, that 100 to 30 on 4 nil. I hope it's not 4 nil. As I say, I'm a fan of Stu Bingham. Um, and, and I think Stu will stand his ground. He's never really had any real pummelings off him, you know, and, he, and, he, and he's, he's dished out more than his first year of victories over, over Trump over the years. He beat him in the semi final 17 16 when he won his world championships. And he beat him in, I think it was the final of the Welsh a couple of years ago, nine, eight or ten, nine or something like that. So he's not afraid of beating him. I just think, and I'm not being derogatory to Stuart, it's how well Trump is playing at the moment. And I just thought maybe it's worth a couple of quid, that 100 to 30. 100 to 30 then on a 4 nil victory for Judd Trump. And I'm presuming, Mac, we're looking at Judd Trump to win the group. Uh, yeah, I am, to be honest, Naz. Uh, uh, it's five to six. Again, it's, it's under even money. Um, but again, I just think if he gets past Bingham, I'm pretty sure he gets past Murphy or Gilbert, who's obviously the second match in that group. Uh, Dave Gilbert, woefully out of form at the moment. 
and, and, and every shot to me at the moment, when I look at Dave Gilbert, I watched him last week in the Championship League, and every shot's a pint of blood. He looks like he's walking on eggshells. Um, it, it's like he's got the world on his shoulders. You know, he's, he's got a big season ahead of him. He's defending £100,000 at the end of the season in the World Championships. And, you know, that's going to knock him out of the top 16 if he doesn't get close to defending that. So there's a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Uh, not an enviable position to be in. I've been in that position myself. And he's up against Murphy. Uh, Murphy's 8-13. to 13. Uh, I think Gilbert, he can get 6-4 to four or something like that. Um, you'd normally expect Murphy to beat him. It's only 6-3 on the head-to-heads, Murphy. But I think that's more because... Gilbert for a long, long time was, was 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 further down the rankings and wasn't qualifying for venues consistently. And, you know, you'd normally expect Murphy to put him to bed, but Murphy's been a victim of the lockdown. He's, he's been he's been penned up in, in, in just outside of Dublin where he's living now. And it, he's, his practice time has been severely limited. And um, we've seen that in, in, in his results. He wasn't exactly setting the world on fire uh, in the Championship League last week. Um, I think he got the semi-finals. It was either the English Open or the European Open. But he was very, very hit and miss. I would expect Murphy to come through that game. If I was going to have a little bet on that, I might be tempted on on, on maybe under 5.5 frames. I think you can get 6-4 to four on that, 7-5 to five on that, something like that. It's just simply because I don't think Dave Gilbert's at the races. Uh, and, and Murphy, it can be quite um, a belligerent player to play. He's very, he's very, very aggressive and he can be quite intimidating. And if you're not on your metal, I, I think Gilbert might struggle to deal with him. These, these two came through in the junior ranks. They're both a very similar age, 37, 38, something like that, with Ricky Walden and a few of the other, Stevie Maguire, them sort of lads. But, you know, obviously Gilbert's been a late developer, but he, he's only had that magic spell for a couple of years. And I'm just wondering whether... He's feeling the, 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 the reprise of that now where he's got to defend all that money because he just looks like a man in the world's against him. I, I, I really can't see Murphy not winning that game. And I think a little bit on 7-5, to 6-4, to four, whatever it is for Murphy to win 4-1 or better looks a bit looks a bit decent. But then, then you know, whoever wins that game, as long as Trump beats Bingham, they're, they're, playing, each other, they're playing Trump over the best of eleven. And, and Trump will love that. You know, the t- I've, I've looked at it today. The table's absolutely flying. It'll suit Trump down to the ground. He floats everything in. And I just think five to six on Trump to win that group is, is, is pretty good, to be honest. Well, we'll remind you of all of the selections at the end of the video. It is, of course, group two. Please do gamble responsibly. And it is small stakes play. And we'll be back, of course, uh, with group three's preview very, very soon.